Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and set up the ability for us to log out of our application. So now, if we go to our application, we can uh, log in, which I'm already logged in here. And what we want to be able to do is create a link that will log us out so that later we can add that log out button. All right, so in order to do that, let's go ahead and open up a few files that we're going to need. Um, in the controllers, go ahead and open the register.php file. Uh, in the models, we're going to work in our users model. And in our lib helpers, we're going to open our helpers.php. Because we want to have the ability to know uh, what our uh, current logged in user is uh, and, and be able to return that from anywhere in our application. So let's go ahead and start with that because we're going to need that to log the user out. So what I'm going to do is in the helpers file, we're going to create a new function and let's call that current user. Oops. All right. And what we're going to do here is just return our users class and we're going to build a static method there called current logged in user. All right. And that's it in our helpers file because we're just returning this. So we actually need to create this method now in our users model. So go ahead and open up the users model and let's do it right underneath the find by username. This is going to be a public static method. <clears throat> yeah, so this will be a public static method and we're gonna call this current logged in user. Okay, and that's camel case. All right, and the reason that we're going to do this as a static method rather than a standard method here is that uh, we don't have a user object yet. Um, and, and in fact, uh, we've kind of built this singleton up. So we have a public static um, property called current logged in user here. And it's set to null by, by default. Now this is static, so um, across all objects, we're gonna have access to this. But this me method here is actually gonna set this, the user object there. So that'll make more sense in just a moment. So what I wanna do is I wanna check if that is set. If, if this is already set and we run this method, we don't wanna set it up again, we just wanna return it. So the first thing that we're gonna do, and this is kinda of how you do a singleton, and we're just gonna say if is set uh, self current logged in user. So it's gonna check if this is set already. So if, if that's set, then we don't need to do anything else. All we wanna do is return that current logged in. user and that's it um, but if this is still null we actually need to set it up and then return it. so what we're gonna do then is we'll say if session so now we're looking for this section session so um, you know is is there someone logged in and if you remember correctly we set up a um, we, we define a constant called current user session name and we put that in our config file. So if that exists, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the user. So I'll just set up a, a user here. So oops, new users. Okay, and what we're gonna pass into there, we're gonna make sure it's an int and we're gonna pass in session. And I cannot type today, sorry guys. Session, get, and we're gonna get current user session name, all right? And then what we need to, we'll set our, our constant up, so let's say self, current logged in user is equal to you. And what that's gonna do is set this now. So the next time, if it's not set up, you know, it'll set this. So then what we're gonna do is 
um, we're going to return self current logged in user. Now there's an opportunity here for us to refactor this a little bit. If you notice, we kind of have we're checking if this is set, and then we're we're uh, returning. Um, what we could do is actually, if this is not set, um, get rid of this return here because we have the one return. We don't necessarily need to do it this way. So what we can do is put this if. If it's not set, then what we're going to do is we'll set it up and then we'll return this. So what's going to happen is uh, it's going to get here. If this is already set, it'll hit this if statement. It'll bypass it and it'll just return it. If it's if it's not set, then it's going to jump in here and say, "Hey, um, does a session exist?" Um, so what I could do here is I could also get rid of this if statement, and we'll just grab this out of here, and we'll just put an and right here. So simplify this method quite a bit. There we go. That was a little easier to read. So if this uh, singleton static property that we set up up here, if that is not set, and if the session exists, so if the user's logged in, then what we're gonna do is grab that user, and then we're gonna set up our property, our static property, and then we're gonna return it. If, it, if it's already set, it's gonna bypass this, and it's gonna return it, okay? Uh, all right, so that's that user's method. All right, so what we could do now is um, we could actually go ahead and log out, create our logout method while we're in this user's model. So let's go right underneath our login uh, method here, and we'll just do a public function logout. Okay. And then what we could do, we're going to go ahead and set up our user agent. User agent. All right. And then we'll say this db query delete from user sessions. We could actually refactor this too to not use a raw query. We could add some methods to our uh, user sessions model, which we'll probably do. Go ahead and bind um, this ID. This is the user ID. Uh, that's going to be for this first bound parameter here. So where user ID is equal to this user's ID. And then the second is just going to be our user agent. Okay, so that will delete that. Um, you know, let's just get it working first and then we'll refactor. We'll come back to this. All right, so um, next thing I want to do is delete the session. So remember, we set up a method in our session class called delete, and we're just going to pass in our current user session name. All right, and then what we want to do is check if our cookie exists. So if cookie exists and that one was called remember me cookie name we haven't really set this up yet but we're going to and we'll delete that so we'll say cookie delete and we're just going to put let me scroll up a little bit here let's copy that 
and we'll delete it. Okay. And then what we want to do is set, remember our our user here, we want to go ahead and make sure when we're logging out that we're going to uh, set that back to null. Self current logged in user is equal to null. Ooh, not nil, null. And return true. Okay. So that's pretty simple. That is our logout method. So what it's going to do is it's going to delete our session. All right. It, well, first it's going to delete our user session in our database just to clean that up, um, which we haven't seen yet, and we'll get to that. Um, but then we're going to do uh, we're going to delete our session, and then we're checking if the cookie exists. So if they have a remember me cookie, it'll delete that as well. And then it's going to jump and go ahead and clear out our static current logged in user because there won't be one and then we're going to return true when all that happens so that's it that's our logout method it's really easy um, again we could probably come and refactor this a little bit and do that more of a, a MVC style uh, we will so the next thing that I want to do is we need to actually have a link that can call this so this part's pretty easy. We're gonna to go to our register controller and we have a login uh, action here. Um, what I'm gonna do is right underneath that, I'm gonna create another public action and we'll call this logout action, all right? And what, now that we have in our helpers, we have available to us this current user. It's gonna take our current logged in user and we'll say uh, current user Okay, and then we, we can call the logout function method that we just created. So in our users table, so that remember that our helpers, the current users can return our current logged in user, and we have access to the logout method right there. So we can just do this, current user logout. And then we're going to uh, redirect. So router redirect. and register login. I'll redirect them to the login page. Now, uh, we probably don't want to log out if there's not uh, a current user. So let's go ahead and wrap this in an if statement. So we're going to say if uh, current user. So if there is a current logged in user, then we'll do all this. Actually, we'll do the logout. All right and we're gonna redirect to the login page regardless if there's a logged in user or not. So that's it for the logout action. So now we just have to test the logout. So let's go here. So if we just navigate to register logout, um, it takes me to the login page. So now if I inspect, okay. Um, one thing real quick, let me just go back to here to my login. Get rid of this echo. All right. Okay, well, uh, I think we're going to stop here for this video. We have the logout function done. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and finish the login to where we can actually create a cookie, um, a remember me cookie when they log in so that uh, they don't, you know, they don't have to log in every time. So we'll work on that in the next video. So it'll be this if they check remember me when they log in. We're going to set up a cookie on their uh, browser. Uh, local browser storage and then the next time they visit the page they won't have to go through the login form it'll automatically log them in. Alright so I hope that's helpful and I'll see you in the next video.